I am Anil Kumar and this video is for my students who have just started learning about slope of line. So we will discuss some basic concepts about the slope of line in this particular video. So let's say, uh, let's plot the coordinate plane here. Let's say we have a coordinate plane and this is the origin. Independent variable will be along the x axis. The dependent variable y will be along the y axis. So that is how it is. And as you know, these two axes are always at right angles, correct. Now we are talking about slope of lines. So if I sketch a line which is rising, let us see a line which is kind of rising, right? So this line you have to see from left to right. So whenever we are talking about slope, then on a graph we have to see the lines as they move from left to right. This is important. So when we see from left to right, we find that this line, let me call this line as line 1. So we say, well, line 1 is increasing, right? So, so since it is increasing as we move from left to right, we also say it has a positive slope. Now, what is positive slope means greater than 0. Positive slope is greater than 0. Is it okay? So, positive slope is greater than 0. And normally, we'll designate slope by the letter M. So, we'll say M is greater than 0. Is that clear? So, in this particular video, I am representing M as slope, right? So, positive slope. So, for slope, I am using M. So, for me, M is is slope is it okay fine now let's take another line so this time I'm taking a line which is dropping downwards kind of like this going down the hill right lines normally you put arrows on both the sides if arrows are not there we assume them to be there right okay so let's call this line as line 2 so in this case line 2 is decreasing what do you mean by decreasing? As you move from left to right, left to right, the value of y is dropping. Do you see that? So value of y is dropping, therefore it is decreasing. So that is the concept. So when the value of y decreases for increase in x, so decreasing means when x increases, y decreases. Do you understand? That is what I mean when I'm saying that line L2 is decreasing. Do you see that? Going downwards. So in this particular case, we will say that the slope is negative. We say, well, it is a negative slope. Or the value of M is less than 0. Okay, so this is... Uh, so lines could have negative slope, lines could have positive slope. Now the question is, can the lines have zero slope? Why not? So what we will do here is draw another line. So kind of like this, which is horizontal line. Do you see that? So this time we have sketched a horizontal line. So we are saying we have line 3. So line 3 is horizontal line. So in case of horizontal line, there is no change, no change in slope, okay, no change in slope. Uh, I, I should not say that. I should say it is neither increasing, I should say this is wrong, okay, sorry for that. So what we are trying to say here is that it is neither increasing nor decreasing. Is that okay? This is better, right? So decreasing. So in such cases, it is horizontal, right? So as you move from left to right, you're neither going up nor down. Y is constant. So, so here in this case, uh, what we see here is the value of Y is constant. This is better. So, so the dependent variable Y is constant for any change 
in the independent variable x right so this is better terminology correct i hope that helps because this is really for the students who are beginning to understand what slope of line is so the dependent variable y is constant all throughout right let's give it a value now let's say this value is minus 5 so as you move from left to right this value is minus 5 all throughout so in this case what is the slope well in such cases we say slope m is 0 since it is neither increasing nor decreasing no change in, right no change in elevation you can say right so it's neither increasing nor decreasing the slope is 0 now there is another very interesting line which I'm going to sketch so in that particular line somehow uh, the slope cannot be defined and we call this is a vertical line so we'll say L4 is a vertical line so with that description I hope you understand what I'm trying to say and let me give it a different color altogether so I'm using a highlighter here so this is my vertical line do you see that vertical line and we are calling this vertical line as line 4 line 4 now how about slope of this it is standing like a wall so really speaking x value does not change right so so y changes do you see y changes with no change in x value do you see that x value is just one for example in this let us say this value is six x remains six for any point on this line do you understand any point on this line so slope does not change for any x value so in such cases we say that our slope m is undefined the slope m is undefined that's what we say here so these are different types of lines which you could draw so drawings could are always seen from left to right and they could be either increasing decreasing horizontal or vertical if they are increasing the slope is positive if they are decreasing slope is negative if they are horizontal slope is zero if they are vertical slope is undefined now in next video we will see how to calculate slope now this gives you an idea how to calculate slope we say slope is rise over run so let me write down a formula which we'll use later we say slope equals to rise divided by run that ratio is the slope and now i hope that makes some uh, some sense when rise is zero for horizontal rise is zero zero divided by anything is zero so slope is zero and for this run is zero right now in this case we have run as equal to zero anything divided by zero is undefined so that makes sense correct now if both rise and run are positive then we get positive results but if rise is negative that means falling down with a positive run we get a negative result so falling down so that is how we could connect rise over run uh, with slope right so we'll elaborate on rise over run in the next video i'm anil kumar and i hope this video gives you a good concept about slope thank you and all the best